Hello, everybody. Hello, peeps. Welcome back into the channel and welcome back to the hills of Tuscany. Uh, we got many of our work cut out for us today. Um, we have some grapes to harvest. Um, I'll show you on the map. Um, we got our grass planted in this field. That was the field that had, what was it, oats? Barley in it, maybe? Um, but yeah, we had that harvesting and all the straw picked up. And then that grass planted. And then this is our cornfield that we had planted. And preparation to get some little baby pittens. Well, not babies, but you don't know what I mean. And then, uh, over here. We own these two fields here. This long one and this one. Um, this is like normal grapes. These are white grapes. So depending on we have like sixty one and a half thousand dollars. Depending on how well those do, we might buy that. I don't know yet. So let's... This fired up. We'll hook up to our trailer. And then we're gonna head over to our little right, um... Farm. We don't own the whole farm. Let's yeah. this one. So we don't have to snake through the little town. Um, we don't own a lot over there. We just own like a couple little fields, but we might eventually like own the whole thing. Cause I mean, we have the equipment, but then not get rid of that equipment. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Well, let's go over there and hit our grapes. Um, that's probably going to be the primary focus on this episode is get those harvested. And then, I don't know if we're we'll getting into doing the whole, um, cleaning of the vines and the plowing and all that good stuff. Um, on this episode. I don't know. We may have to wait. Or I may do that off camera. We'll see. Head on, on down the road. I hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you guys had a great uh, weekend. Mine has been pretty good. Um, we had a good, uh, stream with him and the crew is in um over on the vintage oaks i hope you some of you all enjoyed we're going the wrong way where in the blue blazes are we should have met well we can sell we should have made a turn. We should have turned here, but we can go here and then make... We just saw the scene right. Oh my god. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I had <clears throat> a lot of fun on the Vintage Oaks. There's also a lot more fun to be had. Because uh, we're just getting that uh, kicked off. I think my over on over on that series. I think my focus is gonna be um cows. We're on a, a cow farm, so I think that's what we're gonna kinda of focus on is is the cow farm. I 
I want to let him admire this too eventually. This looks really cool. I really like the way that's set up. Awesome looking. Over here on the right. We will the little <coughs> the grape, excuse me, the grape vineyards on <coughs> on the hill. I'm really enjoying it. I do it in the John and for you know, putting the boat in my ear and check it out. I mean, who would want to with all this, you know, all the equipment that you get? Uh, let's go this way. This is the field that we own. Let's get turned around so we're kind of out of the way. And then we'll... <clears throat> we'll hit our trailer all opened up. Boom. Alright. So we have this one. This little head. Uh, Owned by you, the us, the white grapes, and then we own this little bit longer one, a little bit bigger field. And always, if we wanted to, we can kind of extend those out if we wanted to. And then these are the normal, the purple grapes, the normal grapes. So we'll see how we do on those, selling them and whatnot, to decide if we're going to buy the purple ones. The normal grapes, not the white ones. So this is the one that we use for, obviously, the white grapes. Um, like I said, this is going to be kind of new territory for me that I... I mean, I've only done creeps maybe a handful of times. I don't even know if I've done them <clears throat> that many times. I know getting lined up on it is kind of a motor in me, maybe? Alright, so we're unfolded, and let's turn on the, look, turn on the harvester. We have grapes going in. So this is what I mean. There's that fine line. Oh boy, we don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver down here, do we?
what we know pretty good so far. Alright, so I'm going to turn up the music and let you all kind of watch while, we fo well, while I focus on trying to do this. And then we will come back in here in a little bit and we'll chit chat a little bit more. So, hope you all enjoy.
I also wanted to mention too that you know we're in in, in, in the field and not in a very good state. Our yield bonus is only 23%. So, like they're not fertilized, they're not plowed. So, hopefully, this will be like a, a mark, like a benchmark. So that we know the next, next time that we harvest, hopefully it will be a lot better than what this one is. I want to be able to make it to the end of the row. I don't think so. Nope. Right, so I might as well just keep going. And then we'll go. Open. 
go out into our trailer. Awesome. Do these four more rows and then we'll have a sale or white grapes. See how much we get off of that. We can turn it into grape juice, but we don't have enough money right now to buy the grape uh, processing production. So I didn't even look. I don't know if there's even uh, contracts on grapes. Is there? I cannot answer that question. So let's look we'll to the other end. We'll, we'll look. Not. Huh. 
Interesting. I never even, you know, never thought about that. I mean, I guess they're not really, they really don't have a field number on them, do they? No, oh, they're just kind of there. That would be very interesting to... That's kind of cool if they did have, you know, all the, the contracts for... It's, you know what, that's, that's something that I never really realized that... Because you can put them down anywhere. Seems like if you kind of line it up with like the top of the cab, or if you kind of watch in this area, you kind of keep the yellow railing kind of in line with this, it runs a little smooth, well, smoother, or smooth. Well, I don't think we're going to make like $24,000, but I mean, we'll find out. That was fun. Well, it lasted. Empty this out. Alright, so let's see what we can take our 4,200 liters of white. Keep an eye on this because when I took straw over to the production, like a production point where it said I can sell it, um, it took the straw, but it did not give me anything for. Um, for the straw. So... Oh. 
first, let's go into the back. Okay, so. Okay, so what is never mean by this? Okay. So we build about five grand. Okay. Um. I don't know whether to buy that or not. Uh, let's go. I don't think we're going to buy that. I don't think it's fertilized either, is it? Okay, well, we're gonna. Then it's still in this with like 40 grand. Um, why not? Why not? As we have the equipment, we might as well use it, right? Um, what? Or we can buy another thing of white. Um... Let's go ahead. That way we have a reason to have both, um, both harvesters. Because right now we only, kind of only have use of one, or, you know. Alright, let's go up and do some normal purple ranks. Won't take long to harvest these. Then we'll probably get started on the plowing. I mean, I think we'll have to wait until. The vines change over and then we can trim them. And the vines are gonna die off. So I don't think there's really any reason to plow until that happens. in October. It'll happen next month, I think. So I think what we're going to do is after we get this harvested, uh, we're going to call that an episode for now. Nice little short and sweet little episode, uh, harvesting some grapes. Something a little bit different, something that I don't know that a lot of people do with farm sim. Uh, 
I know they're kind of ranch are kind of temperamental, and so is the equipment, but <laughs> obviously. Now the one in a full hopper on this. It's looking kind of promising at the start, but. Mm. I don't know if we'll even make 90% full. That's alright, we'll make a couple carrying off of it.
Oh, from here. On top things. How do we end up in? Oh. Almost thirty five hundred bucks. Nice. Not too bad. Not at all. I was on the phone. Something different. Um, like I said, we'll have to wait until this turn brown. And then we'll have to, um, come through and trim those off. But we'll, uh, we will do that on the next episode. Um, but yeah. Again, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. It's a Sunday evening that I'm recording this. Um, and I hope you guys have a great start to your week. Um, I will be off. Not this coming week, but the following week. Uh, Labor Day for us in the U.S. 
little bit off that one um so maybe some more videos maybe some more live streams over here on youtube i don't know what to say make sure you have your your notification bells turned on and all that good stuff but until next time you all know what to do y'all stay safe and keep spreading that positivity and that love and we will catch you on the next one peace out